everyone! This is Miss Allie from the Bob Lutz Fulcher Simonton Branch Library, and today's middle school program is woven paper hearts. These hearts are fun because you don't need glue or tape. All we're going to do is fold paper to make this heart. If you like crafts like origami or duct tape crafts or cardboard crafts, we have a lot of crafting books in the library. You can search for them on our online catalog or call your local library and we can help you find some books. So, the only things we'll need are a ruler, scissors, a pencil, and some paper. This works best with paper that has two different colors on each side. So, I can use a bookmark. This is scrap of paper, so it's green on one side, white on the other. If you only have construction paper, you can cut out two little rectangles and then glue them together and it works just the same. Let's get started. So the first thing we'll need is the actual rectangle that we're going to use. So I just used this bookmark and I traced over it. Um, it's about seven inches long and two and a half inches wide. You don't have to get it exact because we're gonna cut little strips out of it. So for the strips, we're going to measure them one centimeter wide. We're going to need four strips. So I'll make four little marks. Each of them one centimeter wide. Then we'll just cut them. You won't need, if you do um, seven inches by two inches, you'll have a little bit left over and you won't need this. You can just throw it away. Once you have four strips, something that's going to make this next part a little bit easier is if we go in and mark the center of each strip. So since my strips are seven inches, about seven inches long, I'm going to go in and just mark them right at three and a half inches. So once we have our four strips and we've marked the centers of them, we are ready to fold them. So if you take your first one, we'll start on the right side and fold it down right at that center line. Do the same on the left side. So you should end up with sort of a pointy top and then just two long strips. And then we're gonna fold the left side up towards you and the right side back. Okay, so let me show you that again. Fold the right side down, fold the left side down, then fold the left side up and the right side And now, once you have your four pieces folded, these are the pieces we're going to use to weave our heart. So let's start with two. We're going to flip one of them over because we want our heart to be alternating colors. So to weave them, you're going to just slide them together and look at each row. So for this bottom row, I have maroon on top and maroon underneath. For the second row, 
I have maroon underneath, but I want to take this maroon and put it on top over the pink. That way we have a little square of our alternating pattern. Okay, take your next strip and we're gonna make it also come down right next to this. So make sure it's on the maroon side or whatever color you have going this way. And we can slide it in again. Make sure on the bottom you pay attention to that pattern. So the maroon goes over, under, over and under. Second row, we'll look at the pink. Over, under, over, under. Okay. Our last strip is going to come on this side so that we have a nice square. So we'll slide it in. And then we'll just go down the row, making sure that we alternate the pattern. And this is the hardest one because you have so many pieces of paper all over the place. Sometimes it helps if you have it on a table. Um, otherwise, just try and keep a good hold of everything. So we'll start with this strip, our third one. At the bottom we have it goes under over, under, over. Okay, and then our last one starts over. Let me go under, over, under. Okay, so now that you have your square, I'm going to show you how to fold the tops so that we have a full heart. So to start folding, I'm going to turn it to the side so that my pink strips are facing up and my maroon strips are facing to the left. And we'll start with taking this top maroon strip or whatever color you're using and fold it over as far as we can. And this is gonna tuck behind this strip and hide. So we need to cut it halfway and then just fold it under that strip. Now we're gonna look at these three. Take the middle one and fold it down. And then the two strips on the side are gonna fold to the right and fold to the left. And again, we're gonna cut this one just a little bit. Just a little bit. We want it to hide behind this middle strip when we fold it back up. And then this middle strip is just gonna fold back and we'll tuck it underneath. At this part, you, you could use glue if you wanted. It can be a little bit tricky to get it up and under. Um, but the cool thing about this is that if you can get it, you've made this whole woven heart with no tape and no glue. Okay, so now we have half of our heart done. For this side, we'll flip it over so we're working the same way. So we have three strips up and one strip to the side. I'm gonna take the strip on the side, fold it over, cut a little bit off, and fold it underneath to hide it. Fold the middle strip down. These two. So I'm folding it sort of down into the side and I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut this one a little bit too because it's sort of peeking out from behind. And I want both of them to be hidden when we bring this middle one back up. 
and fold it over. Thanks for watching our middle school program today. I hope you're able to follow along and make your own woven heart. Um, these are great to make by yourself. You can give them to people, you can keep them and string them together to hang them up on your wall with a little decoration. Um, I hope you check out our collection of crafting books if you're interested in, in being creative or you feel like learning something new. And don't forget to check back in for our next middle school program. It's being presented on March 1st by the Siena Branch Library and it's all about origami. See you then.